Welcome back to Aeroflight FS4 and the Boeing 737-500. Today I'll take you on a short demo flight and show you how to fly this airplane. But first, we need to plan our flight. Today I'm following my usual tutorial route, Stansted to Glasgow, cruising at 26,000 feet, runway 04, Barkway 2 Sierra departure, for the ILS for runway 05 at Glasgow. On the flight deck, let's just first head down to the FMC and we'll see that our route has been populated from that world map plan all the way from Stansted to the runway at Glasgow. Cruise an altitude of 26,000 feet set correctly and on the autopilot panel flight director on auto throttle armed FMS vertical mode basically VNAV is active as is LNAV altitude set to 26,000 feet. We'll set our nav source to the FMS instead of a radio and we are ready to go. Parking brake off and throttles up. Rotate speed is the second white tab on the speed display. When you have positive rate, bring the landing gear and the flaps up. You can now activate the autopilot. As you climb, because this airplane has VNAV, it will level off along the route to obey altitude constraints, but as soon as it passes those altitude constraints, it will resume its climb. A note about ILS frequencies, if you have auto-tuning enabled, your destination ILS will be automatically set. If you want to set it manually, you can find those controls in the radio panel on the pedestal. Shortly before top of climb, the altitude alert on the bulkhead will light. And at top of climb, that light will extinguish, the airplane will level off, and you'll hear the throttles reduce. At cruise, let's find our bottom of descent altitude. So that is the lowest altitude before your destination runway, 2400 at Glasgow. So we'll dial that in to the autopilot control panel. The airplane will stay at 26,000 feet until it reaches its top of descent. Of course, when flying Boeing, you need to manually arm your spoilers for approach. So we'll get that prepared now. At top of descent, because this is a Boeing, the airplane will start its descent automatically without any input from you. You can expect a descent rate of around 2,000 feet per minute. Just before 10,000 feet, the airplane will briefly level off in order to decelerate to 250 knots, but then it will resume its descent. As you get close to the airport, you'll hear the throttles idle, the airplane will begin decelerating to its approach speed. At this point, to aid that deceleration, you should start applying flaps in line with the guidance speeds displayed on the bulkhead here. At this point, also change from nav source to radio and activate localizer mode. As the airplane intercepts the localizer, hit the approach button. You should be in full flaps configuration by this point, but if you're not, just keep applying until the airplane has slowed and you can drop the landing gear. When the airplane intercepts the glide slope, you'll see localizer and glide slope enunciators displayed. At this point, you can enable the second autopilot. Decision height. Because this plane doesn't auto land, the second autopilot will get you close to the runway, but you'll need to take over 
for the final part. Idle the throttle, flare the nose, and on touchdown, apply the reverses, and the auto brakes will bring you to a stop. To silence the autopilot disengage alarm, it's this button on the yoke. And that concludes our tutorial. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you found this useful. If you did, please drop a like, feel free to subscribe for more flight sim and aerofly content. Take care, and I'll see you next time.